Blessings, blessings, blessings. Blessings everybody out there in the universe. My name is Sean Myrie and I'm your host of the Down to Earth Podcast. Tonight, I got a special guest coming on. Special night. We got Kemia coming through straight to you. Kemia putting work in the six. Yup. He got a track with Black of Dawn. Black of the Dawn. He got a new project called Original. You got to check that out. Original. Bless up right on time. Coming through on that spaceship. Remember to subscribe to all their channels in my link tree. Down to earth. And then you'll see everything. Past and new. Let me send this out straight to you. Bless up. Spaceship. We got Kemia. Respect King. What you saying? Down to earth. Uh... What's cracking, brother? How you doing, King? Much respect, man. I, I would say this to everybody. Introduce yourself to the universe, to those who may not know who you are. Blessings. You know, my name is Kemio. And, uh, you know, it's a young God trying to, trying to enlighten, trying to inspire through the power of music. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I love that because I thought that was gone. You know, it reminds me of back in the day, some brothers, you know, rock, rocking, you know, the... The realness, you know, from the ancients. That's uh, That's what we need course, more of. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about yourself. Like, when did you really start this journey, uh, uh, your musical journey? On the, Like, when did you really take start taking it serious or getting into it? Uh, it's crazy because, you know, like, in Toronto, when you grow up in the trenches, like, you know, like, most of the men, I'm like, we all have musical gifts and talents here. You know I mean, like, like, like I'm, I'm from the south side of Jane, right? I'm from Chichua, right? And, and, you know, Bless. Like, Fams, that's mm-hmm. where my fam's from. You might know him. <laughs> okay, probably, you know. So, so you know, like, yeah, you know, the man we just used to, shit, I grew up freestyling at my at my brethren's house, you know what I'm saying? Like, R.I.P. Sonny D, you know, like, he, mm-hmm. like, like my brother, he's the first man to ever actually record me and encourage me to, to actually do music, you know what I'm saying? Like, like my late friend Sonny D, um, mm-hmm. Like he he really pushed the man and he's like, yo, you, you got a gift, you know what I mean? Like, this could be your ticket out, this could be your way out, you know? At the time when you live in the hood, like, you know, it's, it's, either, it's either ball in Toronto, like, if you're not going to make it from ball, you know, then, you know, you, you got to try to make it out, you know, like, through music. And if that's not an option, then, you know, you already yeah. know how it goes, right? So, well, sorry, go on. Yeah, yeah, Um, Other than that, like, so I'd say, like, like even that, like, I come from a musical family, right? Like, like a lot of people in my, in my family, like, you know, like, I'm Congolese, right? I'm African, so, like, you know... Just, just in our culture, music is very big. You know what I mean? Like, I grew up playing instruments at the church. I said I sang in the choir. You know, that like that was before I became a, a little wild in the hood. You know what I mean? But like, I, I used to sing in the church. I used to, I used to play like guitar, the drums, the piano. Yeah, you know I mean, so I was always very musical, right? But like, I, I, I never found or thought that music could be a career or something I could take seriously. Um, uh, maybe until a few years ago. You know what I mean? Like, um. Uh, I, I found myself in the down jail before it closed. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And you know that that was that was like you know the 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 real moment for myself. Like yo, well, what am I living for? You know what am I standing for? Like purpose in life? For you know what are niggas really trying to do right now? Like mm-hmm. being here, like and, and and like it was crazy because like when I found myself in the down, right? Like yeah. a lot of the man that I grew up with, you know, a lot of my niggas that I haven't seen in a minute, they were all in there. And like yeah. to see their disappointment, seeing me in there, like yeah. that didn't really hit me. You know what I'm saying? Like one of my niggas, you know, shout out Forty. Like he seen me walk in there, and he was just like, "What are you doing in here? You're That's not true. supposed to be here." You know what I'm saying? Not you. You're like you're too smart for that shit. And I was just yeah. like, "Fuck." Yeah, you know I'm saying, and like that was that was really like that was really like the first eye awakener for me to be like, yo, so what is my purpose in life? Like, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is really trying to do? You know what I'm saying? So when I came out the dawn, though, you know, like, like most niggas, like I grew up in an African household, which means like, unfortunately, like, you know, I, I grew up in a single household and, and my mother, my mother was Christian, you know what I'm saying? And so because of that, I found myself like going to church a lot. And when I came out the dawn, I thought like, yo, that was the right path. I, I, I thought like, yo, niggas have to go to church. So I started mm-hmm. going to church, and then that's when I started taking music a bit seriously in church. You know, I found myself doing gospel music. Um, mm-hmm. and, you know, I toured independently in Canada and in the states, but like something about doing gospel music and 
just like you know religion and church at itself just it wasn't sitting well with me it's like you know certain answers couldn't get i couldn't answer i couldn't get a lot of answers that i was looking for you know what i'm saying i couldn't mm-hmm. i couldn't certain things didn't make sense you know what i'm saying the the way like you know certain pastors are preaching and saying like this is this this is this but i'm like nah it's not bro like it's just not making sense you know what i mean like, so i, I had what to, mean. I had to i had to step away you know so i i stepped away i took like 3 years off of music you know what i'm saying um I, you know i i'm i'm fortunate and like i'm an anomaly like in terms of hood niggas right like yeah I'm, it's true I'm, i'm not the average hood nigger right like i'm, I'm more conscious like you know then then i am under rara right? you get know, like mm-hmm. yeah the, the, it's, like, it's been a minute since i've been under rara right? you know but it's like even me like my saving grace is like you know i got married young you know what i'm saying i found a black okay. woman, like you know like i say she saved my soul you know what i'm saying and like mm. it helped me really find myself and like through her and then you know i had children and like you know fatherhood you know what I'm i found a lot of purpose in 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 being a husband and fatherhood and then like that just elevated my creativity and my sound and you know i had to i i don't want to say i reimagine myself but i truly found myself and then yeah. I was, okay, now now niggas is ready to really make music cuz now it's going to be real you know what i'm saying yeah mm-hmm. i know where you've been through i know i've been through that yeah. journey too man you're searching yeah. and you're, you're you're asking the questions from the 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 the, the elders bless up lone she, she yeah and uh, everybody out in, in the live but yeah I know what you're going through because I used to roll with a lot of brothers like that. We were like the mm-hmm. outskirts. We're into the Afrocentric stuff. We were yeah. talking about the ancient, all types of stuff, man. Mm-hmm. I still I still do that still still. People check me out. That's all I'm about, right? Yeah, and I think right. we need more balance like that because there's always the ray ray gun this and gun that, yeah. uh, girl this and girl that. But if we forget there's intelligent brothers like us, not to say mm-hmm. none of those the youth them are intelligent, but they need some type of guidance sometimes there's too much of one thing that's all i would exactly. say we need more balance right yeah, yeah i agree completely you know and and like that's where i try to be the the difference you know what i'm saying cuz like you know like even when you look at chitwe right like there's a lot of talent coming out of chitwe right now right? Mm-hmm. outside of the whole like look at my young boy block block boy to chitwe you know what i'm saying you got the yeah bless up i see you know that you do say like the all of those young niggas are making noise right but yeah. at the same time yeah that they're making is based on their realities right what they see every day what they're living every day right so it's not that they're not intelligent these niggas are yeah. very intelligent no they i know they're very intelligent yeah. because one of the one of the godfathers come from there i know personally yeah. you know you know Yeah, Frankie Payne. Frankie Payne come from that side. Yeah, mm-hmm. shout out Frankie, aka okay, mm-hmm. Juggernaut. I said that's my OG. You know what I'm saying? And like, you you might know my cousin. Then. You know my cousin, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know my cousin, then, man. Twist. You know him, then. Man. Okay, okay. Say yeah. where? That's your cousin. <laughs> that's my cousin. Blood is strong. Come on, what up? Yeah, you see, we're all connected. You know what I'm saying? We're all connected. We're all connected. <laughs> okay, I mean, and, and, and so yeah, like you know, at like. even even like before i found myself like even before like going to the bin and then doing the gospel music like mm. i was making the same music like i ah, trap this trap that mm. take this you know move this pad whatever shot this ah blah 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 but it's like that shit gets tiring after a while because it's like i don't even like how long can you live that like you know what i'm saying how and it's Yeah, it's, I mean? it's true how long can you do it but you know what it's people who are promoting that right not to say you can't for people like to watch shoot 'em up movies and all them stuff mm-hmm. but sometimes we need to you know have a little balance like some people say that's what the people want but come on mm-hmm. like sometimes stand your own ground you gave the people a lot of that so stand your own ground and do what you need to do you get what i mean like me myself has a, mm-hmm. a, 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 a my responsibility is to have balance i'm never going to do that That's mm-hmm. why I got you a brethren like you a young king like you on here right now. So no, you know. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the balance the balance is needed, you know, especially like we already know how this industry is set up, you get what I'm saying? They 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 they, they want to promote the bullshit and 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 the fuckery because you know that's what sells the most, you get what I'm saying? Like if they're promoting conscious shit where 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 you're 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 fucking influencing niggas to 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 elevate to the state of god then the mm. shit that makes money is not going to make money no more because niggas are going to see that there's no value in that you know what i'm saying it's true it's true it's true run, and, and and you know the gatekeepers people who run the industry they can't allow that because at the end of the day like their purpose is bred in greed you know what i'm saying it's bred in in in, in financial mm. desire and and and, and all types of manipulations you know what i'm saying you think they yeah. want to see you think they want to see a nigga like drake talking consciousness you think they want to see more kendricks They don't want you think they want to see more nipsies? No. They, 
That's why niggas like that die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what? <laughs> we gotta bless. Her, we gotta. We gotta bless ourselves out that energy because I'm a, yeah. one of them brothers. I'm one of them brothers for revolution. I was always like I said. People just check my resume, my mm -hmm. art. I'm always for the revolution. So I must right. be fighting fighting a revolution down to earth mm -hmm. because we're not just for that Ray Ray Ray. I promote any artist, but I'm for the positive energy. You get what I mean? Yeah. And really. They only got part one and part two of down to earth. Really, this is how I get down to earth. We're talking about the ancients. We're talking about that we were kings and we have where we really mm -hmm. come from. You get what I mean? Like how we must no, be proud, proud of ourselves. Don't even speak back sense. We now we were kings. We still are, fam. We are. Yeah, we are kings. You're right. <laughs> correct me. Yeah, yeah. You correct me. Are, fam. We are kings. You're <laughs> right. Saying, this shit changed. We still we still kings. We're we're, we're gods. Kings, kings and queens. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we just have mm -hmm. to return to our nature. You get what I'm saying? Yes, up. Yo, so tell me, like, how you, like, you already know about it, but, like, how did you get inspired to have, like, you know, the mask and everything, like? Mm. Uh, so, like, you see, now when I when, when I went on this journey to find myself, right, like, like what one thing that, 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 like, that I really had to sit down and, like, hold a meds on was, like, you know, prior to when I was doing music, like, yeah. I was a very arrogant nigga, prideful, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like I needed my face to be on everything, you know? Like, know yeah. that it's me spitting these, but like, know that it's me so you know that I'm sick with the shits. You hear yeah. what I mean? But then yeah. it's like, after a while, you know, I'm like, yo, this is about the message. It's about what's in the music, right? Like, it doesn't matter what I look like. It doesn't even matter who I am, you get what I'm saying? Yes. It's just about what I'm saying, you get what I mean? And True. so, like, at that point, I was like, all right, who I am and, and, and who I am under the mask, right? Like, that doesn't matter. You know that what I'm saying? Matter. The mask True. is a representation of the music. So, mm -hmm. so you want to know who the artist is, you know what I'm saying? You have to listen to the music. You hear what I'm saying? That's the only way you'll get to know the artist outside of if we already have a relationship. You hear what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My brother said, Pride is the devil. You know what? A lot Facts. of people, everybody Facts. has pride a, a, is, Yeah, Pride is the devil. True. Yeah. There's, obviously, there's, again, like in context, you know what I'm saying? There's there's two yeah. sides to pride, right? Like you True. know, you could be, you could be prideful of your nation, prideful of your culture. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's yeah. Two sides to pride, but the pride we're talking about, you know, that's that's the pride that kills nations, that kills people, that you know what I'm saying, that that kills the mind, and that mm. pride, you know what I'm saying, that's not good for 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 the progression of a conscious, liberated, black nation. You know what I'm saying? So I had to, I had to dead that shit, and then you, you know, know when when it came to putting on the mask, I was like, yo. Mm. I know that I'm a god, but I, I also need to represent godliness. You hear what I'm saying from a from an African perspective when, I when I do music. You hear what I'm saying, and so I chose when I chose this mask. Right, it was customly made for me. Like again, like I said, I'm from Congo. I could have yeah. got a Congolese mask, right, and you know, and have a cultural mask. But like, my music is rebellious music. It's revolutionary music, right? I like, and, like that. That, that. That kind of music at the same time is is also war music. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> And so, I, <laughs> and so, and so, exactly. with that said, I was like, "Yo, the best way to represent that is if I have the face of a god of war." And so, this is like this face that I wear is the face of the, uh, you know, the Egyptian god of war. You know, Mahes, a lion. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, he's not, he's not something to play with. And like, a lion is also my spirit. You know what I'm saying? So, just felt it represented me well enough. So, like, when the mask comes on, you already know who that is. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad to hear that you're you're into like you know your your revolution and your people and everything because for years I've been fighting that war right people mm -hmm. thought it was crazy people thought mm -hmm. it was crazy so now you know what I'm saying you speak of course language. I have mm -hmm. to mix it up with that pride what you're calling because they don't understand the language many people right mm -hmm. so. I've been reading the books. I've been doing my research. I've been getting the teachings from the elders. My pops is into that too. Like that's all. If you come into my place, you see my pops have all the Afrocentric stuff. He taught mm -hmm. me about a Kebilan and I could keep going. Okay. I want to bore the people. But I was faced with, you know, oh, this guy's crazy. Yeah, Man, screw you're, it. you're a conspiracy this. And, you're, yeah, you're yeah. this and that. <laughs> and yo, I found myself being watched by really the powers that be. So now I'm coming. This the when you see me, this the I always never been on none of, nothing like this. But I have to go out there to connect with brothers like you, and we gotta mm -hmm. connect with other other people like that, so we could stop this violence, what they call black on black, and have mm -hmm. more unity. I agree. You know what I mean, but when we talk this, it's like crazy to some people. It's like, what are these guys talking about? We need mm -hmm. to uh, we need to get 
this hyped up and all types of stuff that don't really matter to us. That's why no one respects us because they see us fighting each other. So mm -hmm. if you want to get respect, we need to unite and then you'll get respect. Go on. <laughs> that was facts. just me venting. <laughs> no facts. I don't disagree at all. You know? and like, even like, like just, just, just what you're saying, right? Like us as a people, right? Like, unfortunately, we're, we're, we're ignorant, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. all by choice, you know what I'm saying? Like some of us were willfully ignorant, but a lot of us, like this conditioning, we've been programmed, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, unfortunately, our parents send us to the school of our oppressors to learn our oppressors' history. You know what I'm saying? Our oppressors' version of history. You know yeah. what I'm to learn, to learn. Imagine, like, imagine, like, imagine me, right? Like, like, mm. imagine let's say I was a colonizer. I come, I colonize your home. You know what I'm saying? I take away all your, all the shit in your house, your culture, yep. your people, all of that. I replace yep. it with myself. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? I tell your father that he has to send you to an institution that I created, right, called school, where, yes. where where my people are going to educate you as if you're not educated already, as if you're not intelligent already. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and then what we're going to be teaching you over there is all going to be based on our perception and, mm -hmm. and our viewpoint of, of what we think is right. You know what I'm yes. saying? In, in that instance, who's the mad one, me or your father? <laughs> you're right. You're, you're right. exactly right. So you know what when, when we express ourselves like this, some people may see our energy as cocky, but it's because we know ourselves, thyselves, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not cocky, right? I know thyself. And I never really, besides a virgin like you, express this to too much people because only mm -hmm. certain brothers, it's like medicine, only certain individuals could take this. Some, next. I could say it, but it goes in one ear and out the other come ear. come on the next, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but there is brothers like that right now. I, I I've been with brothers like that. I used to live up in the east, and there's brothers like that in the west. But I found when I was living in the east of Toronto, more a lot of brothers were on that tip, like what mm -hmm. you're saying. They'll be wearing the they have the ankh. They'll be okay. having they'll be going to book readings. They'll be mm -hmm. having meetings. Whatever they're into, they, they'll be either Muslim or they'll be Moors or Rasta mm -hmm. or whatever. But they're all together. Mm -hmm. They'll be reasoning and they'll be talking like how we're talking. This yeah. is a rare thing, trust me. But but you see the issue, you see, and, and like, you know, as much as I agree, but I also have an issue with the conscious community. The yeah, me too, me too, me right? too, me, because, me too. <laughs> because as like, like we move, like niggas move like church, you get what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah. like Christian people, like, they, yeah. like, you know, like, and I can only say this because I was once Christian, you know what I'm saying? We have a, Christian people move, especially black Christians, you know, they move holier than thou, like they're better, like they know, like they're like they're like they're above all, you know what I'm saying? And and, and it's not all Christian all black no, Christians, but no. black Christians even that manner. And and only because they really don't know their own history, they don't know self, right? Yeah. They don't know what they're told at church, not what they're yeah. taught. Being told and being taught are two different things, right? They're not synonymous, right? But yes. but on what they're told at church, they accept that shit as truth, right? Now when it comes to the conscious community, the conscious community also operates in the same manner sometimes, you know? Yeah, they yeah. It and they don't bridge the gap between the streets and themselves. So they'll be like, oh, stop the violence in the streets. Stop that. But niggas is not connected to street niggas to know yeah. what's going on in the streets. It's true. It's true. To help the street niggas come out of that shit, right? Like, yeah. me personally, I can never tell my young niggas to put the guns down without, without any guarantee that the other side is going to put guns down, you know what I'm saying? If the That's next true, side yeah. is not... If I can't have a, if I can't be like yo, put the guns down because I got the next side to put the guns down. I'm not gonna tell these niggas to put the guns down because at the end of the day, these are real life beefs. You know what I'm saying? It's niggas true. have died on both sides. There's there's a lot of history. There's a lot of generational hatred. There's a lot of inherited beefs. You know what I'm saying? People have lost family members. There's mm -hmm. there's emotions and 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 clouded judgment that you just can't break through in one conversation or with one book. You get what I'm saying? That's and so. True. Like, personally, me, like, I can't tell niggas in the streets to put the guns down. Rather, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell them, yo, don't put the guns down, but, you know, chain, turn your aim around. You get what I'm saying? Stop aiming at each other, but who is really the op? You know what I'm mm. saying? Who is really yeah. the opposition? And as much as that might sound wild or crazy, like, when you really study history and see what the opposition has done to you as a people, to us as a people, how vile, how violent, how... Mm evil how so, wicked these motherfuckers have been how devilish they've been you would overstand that aiming your weapon at them is fucking 
at the least it's righteous <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's the that's job what to do like for your ancestors for yourself for your future you know what i'm saying but that's i'm not going to tell niggas in the streets to put the guns down like you know yeah. what that's one reason the only thing i could say is you're right i've been hearing that that same thing what you're saying about the the beefs and you know like generational hate towards each other and that's mm-hmm. one reason when it comes to the art form music the music business right mm-hmm. Me, I'm going to be straight up, no filter. If you mm-hmm. want to make it, that's why you see certain guys leave here, right? Quote, unquote, you know what I mean, in LA. Mm-hmm. You cannot have that energy around you. So it's either you leave mm-hmm. or, don't even, or don't even try to do music. Exactly. Do, it, do that in your basement, but don't try to think you're going to go far. Because when you get that record, I mean that record, you know, you know what I'm saying? You limit your travel. You just give them a... a, 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 a excuse to take something from you from you yeah yeah and and it's unfortunate but it's like again right like there's there's so much there's like this is a conversation that could go for 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 years yeah, yeah. right there's so yeah. much like like you know there's so many factors as to why you know niggas are in the streets doing the shit that they're yeah, doing yes. and, yeah and, like so many but factors if you want if you want to take it uh, get out of the streets which i say mm-hmm. the music is a business of way mm-hmm. out of the streets if you have the opportunity to get out of the streets and you want to do this in the industry try to really get out of the streets if you have the opportunity because there's people who got opportunities with monies and they could go somewhere but they screwed up for themselves but of course that's, but, but again so- even that too right like I'll play devil's advocate like I know a lot of niggas right now you know what I'm saying they could get the fuck up out of the streets right away but mm. again conditioning right like 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 me yeah. like I was in the hood for 15 years you get what I'm saying when I yeah. first moved out of the hood It's like I never moved. I was still in that bitch every day, Monday to Monday. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like n- niggas was questioning if I moved or not. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not even not here no more. I-, I live in Pickering, but I'd be, I was in the hood from morning to the sun down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, again, it's a condition. You know what I'm saying? If you want, if you want niggas to come out the streets, you also have to show them more than the streets. It's right? true. Yeah, it's true. Like, it's true. It's true. It's true. I had an OG say something crazy to me one time, but that shit really opened my eyes. Like you mm-hmm. know, I was with a couple of my dogs and we were going to the beach. And this nigga said, "This is a beach in Toronto," and I was like, "Pause." You know what I'm saying? I just paused. I looked at him like waiting for him to laugh. You know what I'm saying? And he was mm-hmm. doing this, and I'm like, "What do you mean? Of course, there's a ton of beaches, my nigga. What are you talking about? Like you don't want to use the block?" And he did. I said, "No." Nah. Yeah, I heard I that before from side. someone. Yeah, yeah, I heard I, that. I don't leave the south side, and I'm like, "My nigga, what?" <laughs> mm-hmm. you, yeah, you haven't gone downtown. You haven't gone to Scarborough Town, like. Picker, like, now nah, he's like, what for? You know what I'm saying? And like, okay, now, now, imagine now, if this brother has a child, raises a child with that mentality, that, comes, that son yeah. he has is not going to leave the block either. So even if you come around with like, yo, we're kings, we're gods, you come from yeah. rich people, he's going to be like, nah, I come from the South Side, nigga, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now, as opposed to just telling this nigga, you got to show him more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta physically bring him to a beach and let him see like the wonders of nature. Right? Look at the sand, look at the water. As much as that sounds like minimal and like you know almost childish, like, but like think of when you bring a child to the beach for the first time. Yeah, the, exactly. The, 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 their eyes, their, their, their okay. reaction. You get what I'm saying? It's just like wow, the wonders of the world of nature. Same thing you gotta do with a lot of these street niggas. You get what I'm saying? You literally gotta mm. take them out the hood. And bring them to natural places. You know what I'm saying? For them to begin to see, like, yo, there's more to it than the block, than the trap. Like a lot, a lot of these niggas, they they don't know that reality. They don't even believe that reality because they don't know it. So now they start rapping, right? They start making music, and it's like, yo, they don't even see mm. all the possibilities of what their music can do for them. You know what I'm saying? For them, it's just like, yo, I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make some racks and I don't have to trap no more and I can mm. have my phone in the hood I can have my chains in the it's like they don't see themselves leaving that prison you it's know what I'm invis- saying yeah invisible prison I call it absolutely you know what I'm saying so like so, more times you, you, you gotta bring like you gotta show niggas like you know you gotta show them in a different manner you know what I'm saying it, it can't just be conversation you know what I'm saying yeah, like, like me I had to I had to move out this city you know what I'm saying I had yeah. to move out to expand my mind. I don't even live in Toronto. Anymore, you know I see what you're saying. I'm nowhere near Toronto. I only come back for music. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you see me in the city, it's, it's music related. Otherwise, like I'm not yeah. there no more. You know what I'm saying? True. I got a wife, now, I got children. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't, I can't be in in such a toxic environment. That, that's it's, me too. <laughs> Same thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So, yo, tell me where you get the name from. Your name. Tell me a little bit about the name. So, so, so the name Kemya, um, Kemya is not even a, Kemya is really my title, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It's not my name, but it's my title, it's an acronym, you know what I'm saying? It stands mm. for King, you know, right? The E stands for my govry, the M stands for my last name, and then the uh, is an acronym for You Are Heaven, right? Like, that's the brand. Yeah. I'm trying to show niggas, like, you know, you're looking for God, you're looking for heaven, you're looking for a God, for the goddess, you know what I'm However you comprehend God, but you're looking for, for that source. Outside of yourself, that shit's in uh, you. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like that. You know I'm saying? So you know that's know. the brand, you know. So, so yo, I know you got a couple of tracks. The, the big one, the Black at the Dawn. I seen, I heard that. I oh yeah, that's my dog. That's my mm -hmm. G. Even even that track that we did, um, uh, what was that track on Master Life, right? Like, so that's mm -hmm. on my my debut album, right? I dropped the album last year. That was like my first body of work, so I that song, mm -hmm. right? and I like, yeah. even did with Blocker, right? Like. Like, I've known Blocker for years. Like, we've known each other. We've known of each other. Like, I went to mm. school with some niggas, you know what I'm saying? And, like, even in those times, like, like we built, like, me and certain niggas from Tellum, we built a relationship in 50 times, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. we were from hoods who were beefing each other. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, me and Blocker connected. Like, you know, Blocker's, like, Blocker's good people, you know what I'm saying? Good hearted guy. And as much as he's a shit nigga as well, like, he, he could see past certain shit, you know what I'm saying? And so yeah. him and I were to sit down, Polly, you know, like, and like I said, we've always had, like, you know, despite, you know, whatever past Polly our, our blocks might have had, like, we've had a good relationship, and we're just like, yo, niggas is doing music now, like, you know, it'd be really big if we could get Church and Pelham on our record somehow, and, you know, we did that shit, and, and, you know, like, a lot of the OGs were really feeling it, like, and I'm not gonna lie, some of my niggas wasn't happy at first, it's like, yo, like, I'm actually with this guy, you're like, you know, you know where Hoodie's from? I'm like, yeah, mm. so what? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's <laughs> the whole you get what I'm saying? And so yeah. when niggas finally overstood, you know, like, they went from hating on that shit to championing it. You know, like, oh, mm. this thing on that. First niggas was hating, you know, like, you know how the man and be, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. You know? after, after they overstood, you know, that shit sunk in. They're like, yeah, I'm not going to lie, that shit's hard, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, the, the track came to be, and then, you know, we shot a video for it. It, it came out it came out really well, and, you know, shit, mm. here we got it, right? So tell me about the the original, the name. I like that original. It's just like, mm. you know, straight up. Straight, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I said, my debut album was called Know Thyself, and right, the focus on that was like, obviously, man, have to know himself. You know, know your history, know your culture, right, know your origin, and then from there, it was like, all right, once you know yourself, you know what I'm saying, you have to now know like. What is the beginning of thyself? It's, it's, it's your origin. What makes you original? And so this is how this project came to be. You know what I'm saying? And you know, yeah, here we are. <laughs> Kemia, you put it down, man. You put it down for the universe. I love, I love the vibes. I love the energy that you're giving out to the people. Like anything you want to tell the universe before we come off the spaceship, like where they could get you, like all your socials and what they expect from you. Yeah, man. Um, shit. Right now, you know, the original album's out. You know, just go spin that. You know, listen to it. Meditate to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Smoke to that shit. However you meditate. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do that. Shit. Um, you know, it's, it's Kemya on the gram. K E M dot Y A H. That's really the 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 social media platform I use the most because it's like mm -hmm. what I'm familiar with. I'm I'm on Twitter, but I don't even use that shit. I think my wife tweets me most. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And, and I still don't know how to use Snapchat, so yeah, you can follow me too. on that if you want. <laughs> I'm not reacting yeah. to that shit, so you know. But uh, other than that, like, yeah, go spin the album. You know, hit me up. Let me know what you, what you think of it, you know. Like, I'm not, I don't bite. Don't worry, you know what I'm saying? You can yeah. have that talk. We can converse. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts, what you agree with, what you don't agree with, you know. Yeah, all that shit's good, you know what I'm saying? Just go spin the album and share that shit, you know what I'm saying? I got a video I'm going to be dropping real soon, so, you know, look out for that. And uh, my my wife is coming with a with a clothing line real soon too, you know, like just based uh, off. Of, so you know when that shit drops, you know, just look out for that and you know support how you can. Yeah, I will support because I'm listening to the music and I'm like like, I love it. I love the energy. It makes me want to listen to more because I'm not seeing too much of that. It is original. It mm -hmm. is original because it's not like everyone. I'm just you know sounding the same. This is original. So people better check out Kemia. 
Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm, man, I'm going to keep in touch. I'm going to be promoting you constant because this is what the universe needs. Uh, thank is. you. Thank you. That's love. That's love. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. For real, because that's love. So I want everybody to check him out. Subscribe to all his, you know, platforms. Cameo Realist. Coming straight out of the six to the universe everywhere. Bless up, I, King, for coming. Bless up, me. I appreciate you, Doug. Bless. One love. Bless. One love, fam.